Parents and P7 pupils, I'm Dr. Carruthers, Headmaster of Korean Grammar School, and you're very welcome to this presentation, which forms part of the information available to you for our virtual open night. The uncertainty around the admissions process and transfer tests this year has made it a difficult and stressful time for everyone, especially the P7 pupils and parents. What we wish to do now is provide you with as much clarity and certainty as we possibly can so that pupils and parents can see their pathway to September 2021 when we all hope we will be in better times. In this presentation I'll be covering the following general information about Coleraine Grammar School, Coleraine Grammar examination results and the admissions process for 2021. Coleraine Grammar School opened in September 2015 and we took time to develop our vision and values with the whole school, with pupils, parents, staff and governors. Our vision for school centres on the pupils to provide opportunities to develop and progress in learning and for their personal development emotionally, physically and spiritually. What we aim for is that every pupil's experience at school contributes to a successful holistic outcome for the pupils of whom the school, their families and themselves are very proud. The core value in Coleraine Grammar School is respect, which is underpinned by responsibility, equality, self-discipline, perseverance, excellence, commitment and tolerance. These are firm, agreed foundations for the school as the only academically selective grammar school in Coleraine, an important point. These values inform and tie together pupils' experiences in learning and teaching, pastoral care and extracurricular activities so that we are very much developing pupils in a holistic way. This slide shows the curriculum at Key Stage 3 for years 8, 9 and 10. The curriculum meets the statutory requirements and more importantly it meets the needs of the pupils, offering a full range of subjects. It is broad and varied and enables choices for GCSE to be made during year 10. There is appropriate careers advice in Key Stage 3 to help inform those choices and at GCSE we offer 24 subjects, including all of those that are on the screen and more. Pupils study up to 10 GCSEs and at A-level we also offer a very broad choice, enabling access to a full range of university courses. Turning to examination results and firstly GCSEs. All the figures that we quote for GCSE results include pupils passing English and Maths at at least Grade C and bear in mind that not all schools include English and Maths in their figures. Our headline figures in 2020 are that 96% of pupils achieved at least 5 A star to C grades in their GCSEs and 89% of pupils achieved at least 7 A star to C grades. Putting that in context, 2020 cohort were the first group of pupils in the new school to achieve GCSE results and they showed the dramatic improvement and uplift in results that we expected from the co-educational intake. The figures show very clearly that we are performing at and above expectation against other Northern Ireland grammar schools. Also another context is an important local comparison to look at how Korean grammar pupils results are for those pupils who came into our school with an AQE score of 104 or more and here are the figures. So Korean grammar pupils with an AQE score of 104 or more of 96% of those pupils achieved at least 7 A star to C grades in 2020. This compares very favourably with schools with an intake of an AQE 104 or more and exceeds Northern Ireland grammar schools comfortably and consistently in the last three years. Our most in recent inspection report in September 2018 noted very favourable comments about value added for our pupils, very favourable comments on progress in English and Maths and many other subjects, very favourable comments on learning and teaching, pastoral care, careers advice and the curriculum, which speak together to the holistic approach for pupils which I mentioned at the beginning. In terms of A-level results in 2020, again Coleraine Grammar is clearly above the Northern Ireland Grammar average for pupil outcomes at A-level and most importantly the pupil outcomes enable the pupils to access 
prestigious courses at, as shown at prestigious universities and there are many more pupils at other universities other than those mentioned with almost all pupils studying at their university of choice. This analysis of results shows that at both GCSE and A-level our pupils perform just as well or better at Korean grammar as at any other school and our value added work shows that pupils make better than expected progress at our school. However, Korean grammar is about much more than results. It's about how pupils feel in school, how they are looked after and how they are supported in school. There is a presentation available on the website by Mrs Ruth Smith, who is head of Year 8, in which you can hear more information about our support for pupils as they make the transition from primary school and begin life at Korean grammar. Throughout their seven years at Korean Grammar, pupils are able to take part in a wide range of extracurricular activities. You're able to get a flavour of some of them from the open night resources available on the website. We encourage our pupils to get involved in sporting activities and in the realm of arts and music too. By being part of a sports team, a choir or an orchestra, you will learn to work with others and develop important team teamwork skills. By going to Puzzle Club or Scripture Union, you will meet new people and make friends with people who have similar interests to you. By going to Computer Club, you will develop your IT skills, and all these aspects of character and skill development will be so valuable for life after school. Many of our pupils excel in the field of sport, representing Ulster in rugby, hockey, golf, athletics and cross country, and also representing Ireland at national level in badminton, cricket, swimming and rowing. Two summers ago, one of our senior prefects was rowing for Ireland in Japan. Our pupils excel in the dramatic arts too. For example, a year ago, our senior choir sang at the Carnegie Hall in New York. For Year 8 on the Lodge Road campus, there will be clubs and sports operating both at lunchtime and after school every day of the week. There is something for everyone, and as in most things, the more you put into school life, the more you will get from it and there is a marvellous range of opportunities ahead of you at Coleraine Grammar. The next few slides explain how the non-academic admissions criteria will work this year and how they will operate in practice. These slides and the commentary should be considered alongside the CGS admissions criteria document which is on the school's website and is also published by the Education Authority. The first point is that only pupils who were registered to take the AQE tests in January and February 2021 will be considered for admission. It doesn't matter which school you were registered to take the tests in, but that you were registered to take the tests. The reason for this criterion is to ensure that pupils who wish to attend an academically selective school are considered for admission. The only exception to this is pupils who satisfy the definition of special provision which means that they are transferring from a school outside Northern Ireland or have had more than half of their primary school education outside Northern Ireland. This criterion is used by schools every year and is to cater for families who have recently moved to NI and CGS would normally have two, three or four special provisions applications so the numbers are low. The second criterion is defined as children who First of all, have a child of the family enrolled at the school, have a child of the family who was previously enrolled at Korean Grammar or Korean Inst or Korean High, or at the date of application are the eldest child of the family eligible to apply for admission to our school. Very important to note and appreciate that this criterion places the three groups on an equal footing for the rest of the process. All these pupils are treated equally as satisfying criterion too. Also please note that the terms child of the family and eldest child have meanings in the transfer process that are explained in the Department of Education Circular 2016-15 revised in October 2010. For example, child of the family includes half siblings, adopted children and eldest child can mean the eldest child who is eligible to apply to Korean Grammar because, for example, an older sibling attends a special school. But please consult the DE circular available at the DE website for further details. Our process this year is then designed to consider pupils in the following four groups. 
Group A are pupils who meet criterion 2 and place Korean grammar as first preference. Group B, pupils who do not meet criterion 2 and do place Korean grammar as first preference. Group C, pupils who meet criterion 2 and do not place Korean grammar as first preference. Group D, pupils who do not meet criterion 2 and also do not place Korean grammar, grammar as first preference. Groups A, B, C and D will be admitted in that order and when the school is oversubscribed in any of these groups, pupils who are entitled to free school meals will be admitted first and then random selection will be used to allocate the last places. You will naturally be anxious to know how likely pupils in each group are to be admitted. It's not possible to give a definitive answer in advance of the admissions process but this table shows how many pupils of each group would have been admitted if the criteria are applied to all the applicants for year 8 places in the 2020, 2019 and 2018 cohorts. Clearly all of Group A would always have been admitted. About half of Group B were admitted in 2020, all of Group B in 2019 and 2018, none and one of Group C in 2020 and 2019, and two-thirds of Group C in 2018. None of Group D were admitted in any of those years. The table also indicates the importance of placing Korean grammar as first preference. This explanation and information will help you make an informed choice of post-primary school for your child. I want to emphasise that CJS has a strong academic ethos and we have already seen that in 2020 almost 90% of Year 12 pupils achieved at least 7 A star to C grades at GCSE including English and Maths and 81% of A level pupils achieved at least 3 A star to C grades. Our figures match or exceed Northern Ireland grammar school figures. So if you are a pupil who aspires to achieve and who is willing to work hard, Korean Grammar School is going to be the right choice for you. It is very important to note that pupils will be placed in the six year eight classes according to their academic ability and we will do this by the use of a standardised baseline test which will be fair in that all the pupils will take the same assessment in the same conditions. Finally, this table shows the range and average of AQE scores in school in the last six year eight intakes and will give you an indication of scores you would normally be aspiring to achieve for admission to Korean Grammar. I would emphasise also that there are many high and very high AQE scores in every year group at our school. So in summary, we are a school with a sound ethos and sound values. We are an academic school with above average results. There is an emphasis on learning and teaching and an equal emphasis on pastoral care and how the two complement each other. There is excellent provision of extracurricular activities and experiences outside the classroom. The big picture is that we bring these together to add value in a holistic way. Pupils emerge with good qualifications and a good attitude and the ability to apply themselves with resilience to challenges. Pupils learn about application, ability and resilience when working together in an orchestra, playing together in a team or rowing together in an aid. In today's world, pupils need both qualifications and the ability to apply themselves and a good attitude and the ability to be resilient. All that I've explained about what Korean Grammar School does is connected and interwoven with the result being the successful holistic outcomes you and we wish to see for your sons and daughters and our pupils, that is well-rounded individuals who will add value to their community, pupils of whom the school, their parents and I are very proud. So thank you for listening to this presentation. I very much hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, please email the school at the info address or telephone the school. Thank you very much.